so guys here you can see that we are getting values from the pick 3341 3441 see it is increasing by 100 see so it is called arithmetic operation that we are performing on a string that is converted into an integer see once it goes above 4000 then again it come back to the uh, optimal original value original value that is 3341 now let me show you what is happening here in the coding so if we go into the coding you will see that what we are doing is that we just took a random text that is 3241 and then we use the ato icon command to convert this number that is a string into an integer then we performed arithmetic operation on it that is add by 100 using a do while loop and then we performed a logical operation that once it's greater than 100 or oh sorry 4000 then it will come back to the uh, initial value that is 3241 that's simple as that guys so in this way you can play with the text by converting them into a string and then performing operations on it hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how we can convert numbers in string form to integer form for processing using micro c for pick guys usually it happens that over the uart channel and from like bluetooth module we use a uart channel for the rf module we use a uart channel the text we receive we cannot process those numbers like you receive a number then you need to process it like first you have to convert it into an integer to perform arithmetical operations so for that purpose we need to use some special commands to convert a uh, text in the form of ascii or string to integer form so we can do arithmetics on it so for that purpose we use some special commands found in the library of micro c for pig and this video is related to that so let's get started so guys this is our pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller for the demonstration purpose i will be using this usb to ttl device i will connect this with the pic and then i will program the pic in such a way that uh, we will feed a number into it using our programming and then it will send the number to the computer this usb to ttl device is just for the output purpose you can also use lcd as well but this is easily available and cheap and easy to use so i will use this for demonstration purpose that we will enter a string and the, then the string will be converted into the integer and then we will do some arithmetic like we will add 100 and uh, like once it reaches 4000 then it will keep on repeating the loop and then those arithmetics will be keep on displaying on the screen and once arithmetics are done then we will convert it back into the string and we'll send it over the ch340 so what we do is that we will take an a, a text in the form of string and then we will use the ato i command to convert it into a integer then we will perform arithmetical operation and then again we will convert it into a string and then we will display it on the computer screen using the usb to ttl device so that's what we're going to do so let me show you how to connect the usb to ttl device with a pic this is CH340. You can use any other model of USB to TTL device, including the FT232, CP2012, or any other device available in the market. So let's get started. So, guys, uh, as you can see, it is also labeled on the body as well. This USB to TTL device, CH340, has 5 volt pin, VCC pin, 3.3 volt pin, TX, RX, and ground pin. Whichever USB to TTL device you use, TX, RX, and ground pin are always there. There might be the options, different options for the 5 volt, 3 VCC, 3.3. Some USB to TTL device only have VCC pin. Some don't have 3.3 volt pin. I mean, most of the devices, 3.3 volt pin is not available, but it doesn't matter. The important are TX, RX, and ground. That's all. So let's do the connections, guys. So as you can see, first of all, connect the ground pin of your CH340 USB to TTL device with the ground of the PIC. So they both must share the common ground. You don't need to connect the power pin to the pick because when you will con connect this device into the computer it will automatically get 5 volt from the computer so in my case the pick will be powered up using picket 3 and the usb ttl device will be powered up from the computer if you want to remove the picket 3 then you just remove the picket 3 and connect the 5 volt pin to the vcc after programming the device or in my case like in my case picket 3 will power up the pick and computer will automatically power up the usb ttl device so no need to connect this 5 volt now guys for the tx pin this will go to the rx pin of your pick that is pin number c7 and the rx pin the of the ch340 will go to the tx pin of the pick that is pin number c6 or pin number 25 tx to rx and rx to tx that's how the uart protocol works now let me show you the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this is the hardware as you can see this is the usb to ttl device and this over here is the pick 16 f 7 a 
and as you can see we are only using three pins because computer is going to power up this device while picket 3 will power up the pick that's all simple hardware so let's get to the micro c for pick programming so here we go guys the vision of micro c for pick i am using is 7.6.0 you can use a higher vision as well if available higher is always better click on file new new project this window pops up click on next write the name of the project micro c strings to integer tutorial by learning microcontrollers that's the name of the project i wrote Select the path where you want the hex files to be created. Select the microcontroller you are going to use. Select the device clock. 20 megahertz is the clock I have. Click on next and finish. So guys, this is the screen that you get. Press control S to save your work. Now go to the right. Select the libraries we are going to use. First of all, we will need the sdlib library because atoi is the command that will be used to convert the strings into integer and then conversion library will be used to convert the integers back into the string so we can transmit over the usb to uart channel to be displayed on the computer screen and then guys we will need the uart uh, pro uh, uart protocol or uart library so we can initialize the usb to ttl device for sending and receiving the data so first of all go to the uart library click on uart1 init double click on it this is a command in the example here to initialize the UART port for USB to TTL device. Paste it here. Now this is the syntax of the command and this is the border. Set any border you prefer. But remember that on the serial monitor you have to select the same border. 9600 is fine. Give some initialization for the one time loop. This initialization delay is not necessary but in the newer version of the micro C it's not necessary. In the previous version there used to be a problem that the commands used to get ignored because of the processing speed so you need to slow the program down using these commands but in the newer vision it is not no longer required but i use it as an as a habit so now our uart port is initialized we go to our forever loop write down while one forever loop starts here and here that's all now first of all we will need need the atoi command First, let me show you what is the syntax of this command ATOI in the std library. Here you have this. Now, what it do is that function converts the input string s into an integer value and returns the value. So, it is the command that we need to convert the string into an integer. So, this is the syntax. Copy it. Now, it says that whatever is inside written here, whichever string is here, will be converted into a number or an integer this integer so we initialize this integer result integer as this we make it a variable so its result is a variable here like this and now we need a number and we i don't prefer this number i will make take a you can say a char variable i make it result one or i make a number that will be fine number variable and eight maximum it's a it's a string and a char with an with char an array of 9 it's a char having an array of 9 so a, an array of char is basically a string so it's a string having 9 characters so we give it some value in the one time loop uh, so it is like equals to 3 2 4 1 that's what i make it and and now this is the by default value of this is like suppose a text we are getting from some device so we will convert this text into a string now paste it here now whatever is in this string this string variable will be converted into an integer and will be stored in this variable now guys what we do is that now we need to perform some arithmetic operators and then we will display this value on the screen so i take a do while loop do while and here i do some processing like as i told you we will do two things one once we get our string we will convert it into an integer then we will do an arithmetic and also a logical operation on it so this will be the arithmetic operation that result equals to result plus 100 that with every loop result will be this value which is basically a string a text we will convert it into an integer then we will add 100 to it and we will keep on adding 100 unless result 
does not becomes greater than 4000 as soon as the result is less than 4000 it will keep on repeating but as soon as the result goes above 4000 it will break out of the loop and then again the default value this value will again be into it so it will come back to 3241 and now th this is how we will perform two operations one is the arithmetic operation and this other one is a logical operation now remember we cannot do this on two and string directly if you want to do these operation on this this is not possible that's why we need to convert a string into an integer so we can do arithmetic and logical oper operations on it now we need to display this on the screen as well but the problem is we cannot display integers directly on the screen we need to convert it into a string so for that purpose we take another variable char result uh, an array of char of 20 characters is a string so this will uh, i make it result one so they don't get considered so result is the integer result one is a string now we go to the right in the conversion library there is a command called int to string this command double click on it copy this from the example go back paste it here so this command will convert this integer into a string whatever is in this integer will be converted into a string will be stored in this variable now we can display th this variable on the lcd or we can also transmit it over the uart channel to display it on the computer so what we do is that we go to the right and go to the UART library and in the UART library you have this command here UART1 write text you copy this command UART write text paste it here and what it should write it should write this result 1 that is what it should write now this will be sent to the computer and the speed will be very fast we slow down the speed while by giving it some delay I think 2000 2 second delay will be fine so what is happening here is that first of all we take a result uh, this atoi command and this is an integer result and whatever is the string that is the number 3241 this will be converted into an integer and will be stored in the result then we will perform the arithmetic on this integer we will add 100 and then we convert it into a string so we can display it on the computer screen using the usb to ttl device and then what we do is that we keep on adding 100 until it does not become greater than 4000 that's what we are going to do here so uh, let me build this code so let me build this code click on build and check for errors no errors that's great now go to the picket 3 programmer tool here go to the file import hex file so this is a file we just created double click click on write okay the new file is being written once it's written then we will go to the uart terminal to see what is happening let it write So as it's built, I power up the circuit using the Picket 3 programmer tool. I click on on. Okay, let me show you first on the hardware. See that this LED is blinking. It means the data is being sent after 2 seconds. Because we set a delay of 2 seconds. See, after every 2 seconds the LED blinks. See, this blue LED. Now we go to the USART terminal and see what is the data being sent. So see the delay here is 2000. So it is sending data after every two seconds. So go to the tools USA RT terminal. Let me zoom in further here. Now the baud rate is 9600. The COM port that I have is okay. Let me connect the device. Okay, it's connected. Okay, the COM port will appear. It's four. I connect. Okay, the data is coming 3341, 34C increased by 100, 3541. 3641, 3741, 3841. So these are the arithmetical operation addition of 100. Now it's above 4041. See, now it again came back. This is the logic operation. So what we did in this video is that, guys, we took a random a text and then we converted it into an integer and then we uh, performed a arithmetical operation on it. Then we also performed a logical operation on it. So in this way guys you can process a text coming from a device a radio frequency module an sc05 bluetooth module or any other such device which uses the uart port to give you a text 
then you can process that text uh, to do various operations on it so guys i hope you guys learned something from this video thank you very much for your time and have a nice day